What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video I am back again with another tier list for Roblox All-Star Star Defense for the new update and this one is going to be for story mode characters in particular hopefully I don't mess up between 5 star and 6 star Blackbeard a second time that would be really tragic <laughs> but yeah basically S tier is going to be the meta or basically everything that you can use to beat the new the new maps i don't know if it's called soul eater or soul reaper i'm dumb i forgot it's one of those two i'm pretty sure a tier is going to be the really good characters that are that can be used to be everything up till the new maps and like such as minato like he can be pretty much everything like he can even help beat the jujutsu kaisen map but he just cannot beat the new one so he'll be like at the top of a tier uh, B tier is gonna be things that can go up to like maybe Ant Kingdom because that's pretty like intermediate so like they'll be pretty decent C tier is gonna be the kind of crappy ones the ones that can probably just make it till I don't know like maybe the My Hero Academia maps and then they'll start sucking and finally the D tier is gonna be the unusable characters uh, to just use by themselves like I guess Light Yagami and stuff like that you would not be able to really use them in story mode and that's why they will be in D tier. If you have anything that you do not agree with let me know in the comments down below and I will make the necessary changes uh, and also uh, guys I wanted to mention if anyone wants to do it with me for infinite mode and has pretty much the meta let me know in the comments because I kind of want to make a video of that but anyway let's get started first up we have Ace and Ace honestly could be a pretty high B tier he can definitely get to Ant Kingdom like the elves he can definitely kill them Akaza probably will oops <laughs> Akaza probably will also be a B tier Aladdin will probably also be a B tier because he only costs like 4000 max out uh, All Might probably a C tier I don't really think actually no I'll put him at the bottom of B tier because I'm pretty sure he can beat the My Hero Academia maps not gonna lie Armin Titan I mean bro he's useless for this okay please again I hope I am not wrong <laughs> But I think that this is the 6-star Blackbeard, correct me if I'm wrong. So 6-star Blackbeard is definitely an S-tier character because yeah, that slowness is amazing. 5-star Blackbeard is probably another B-tier. Actually, I'd put him in... Yeah, no, he's B-tier. Bulma is going to be S-tier. I mean, you can use the new, the salesman, but honestly, Bulma works as well and she can be used to beat them. Then this guy, Byakuya. I'm sure he can beat the MHA maps, so yeah, definitely a B tier. Even Coyote Stark, I'm 100% sure he can beat the MHA maps. Same for Darui. Uh, Deku can beat the MHA maps, so he will be getting a B tier. Dio is, he's okay. I mean, you can use him as an A tier character because if you do not have like Jotaro or if you do not have Blackbeard, then Time Stop works. Uh, uh, Do Flamingo is useless because he's too expensive. Eren is probably gonna be like bottom B tier probably because summoners are outdated. Owen, woo, bro, bro, why did I take that guy up? Uh, Owen is going to be chilling at S tier because like he's just really helpful. Eskinor is gonna be S tier because he is also really really good. Uh, then the salesman is another S tier because. Yeah, I mean, the, he's better than Bulma, which is why he's higher up than Bulma. Uh, Freezer, probably gonna be like, I don't know, actually B tier, because he can pretty much beat the MHA maps, but like bottom B tier, guys. Fujitora, probably a more mid B tier, because he's okay. Gon is useless because he's way too expensive. Gilgamesh is gonna be A tier, because he's no longer meta, and I'll be telling you very soon who he can be replaced by so he's gonna be like top A pretty much uh, Giorno is decent I'll give him a B tier Usopp is also okay I would give him a B tier Gogeta is way too expensive guys so I'll give him a D tier because you will not be able to place him down immediately Gojo is a lot less useful than Dio so I'll probably put him in B tier um, Goku Black he's decent I'll give him another B tier Golden Freezer is really good. I think he can actually beat further than Ant Kingdom, so I'll give him an A tier. Hawks is pretty useless because single target with like 2 seconds SPA, he's pretty bad. Uh, Ichigo Blood War is also really bad, but he's gonna be revamped. 
Uh, Hollow Ichiko can definitely go further than Ant Kingdom, so he's getting an A tier. Jinbei is also going to be revamped, so D tier because he's unusable now since he'll be revamped. Jotaro is actually going to be the character that replaces Gilgamesh because he's going to cost a little less than half of Gilgamesh. He's going to have a very similar DPS to Gilgamesh and he's also going to have that extra time stop for the assist and they're both single targets so he is just a very very good boss killer because with Erwin buff he's going to be chilling at like 53,000 damage every 10 seconds, which, every 5 seconds which is just amazing. Then the other Jotaro probably I'll give him like another B tier but higher than Gojo because he's kind of cheap. Kaido is probably going to be actually, yeah, I'd probably put him like bottom A because I'm pretty sure like Kaido can be used to get further but if you have Kaido, like bro, I'm sure you'll have the meta team. But Kaido is actually pretty decent because he's really cheap and has a pretty nice range. Kakashi is going to be C tier, he's like really bad but he can barely be the first few. Kelwa, same. Hirito or Kirito, I forgot what his actual name is, he's also going to be there. Like, Yagami is unusable. Broly is gonna be A tier because, guys, even though uh, he got the buff, it's just like he's getting damage, more damage every wave, but Story Mode only has 15 waves. Uh, Luffy, probably another B tier, he's pretty nice. Uh, then Boo, another B tier because you can use him, he's just not insanely good, but he can definitely get further than the MHA maps. Uh, the Vegeta probably a lower B tier, then our 5 star marker probably gonna be an easy A tier because I mean her damage is literally busted guys. 4 star marker probably gonna be like, I don't know, bottom B tier because I think that she can actually even get past C tier. Megumin is single target and just even the move, her special ability is worse than most of the new characters damage so uh, I mean, probably, actually, she can probably be the first few, so bottom C. Uh, Meliodas, probably another A tier. He is going to be pretty good, but not meta. He will not really be able to beat the new map by itself. Uh, Mihawk is going to be a little too expensive to use. Minato was uh, uh, an eight S tier, but now he's going to be A tier. He, he cannot really compare to these new characters. 5 star Minato is pretty crap. <laughs> So I'll give him a C tier. Uh, Mob, uh, Psycho, I don't know what his real name is, but it's B. Uh, Nagato is pretty nice actually for this. So I think I'll give him an A. He's pretty good being a hybrid and pretty cheap as well. This is probably, I mean, Nami is okay. I would give Nami like a B tier because you can use her, but she's just not as good as Bulma. Naruto, uh, five star is pretty crap. So C tier. Uh, Natsu actually used to be a really good one, but now he's not like insanely good But I'll probably give him like top B tier or so somewhere around that because he's still pretty nice Nezuko also like Nezuko is now gonna be pretty good because Maka is really really nice So that bleed combined with Nezuko, but still her damage is nothing compared to these new characters guys then we have uh, Finch, or I'm forgetting her real name, but yeah, we'll just call her Finch for now. Definitely a top B tier, like, she's so good <laughs> for being a foster. Obito, probably B tier, I mean, he's a bit expensive, which is why. Overhaul, another B tier, I'm sure he can go further than the MHA maps. Um, honestly, guys, I don't think that he, uh, Pain can even beat the first few maps. So he's getting a D tier. Then we have Panacotta Fugo, and Panacotta Fugo, I mean, probably C tier because the range is too less, guys. Like, the damage is good, but the range is too less. Uh, Ren Goku is fine, but uh, honestly, like, with Roy Mustang, Ren Goku's burn would affect that, so B tier. Roy Mustang is getting an easy S, guys. Easy S tier because he's still gonna be a hill unit. Rukia Bankai is pretty useless, guys, because too expensive. Uh, Rukia, I mean, this Rukia probably would get like bottom B as well because she's okay. Sanami, probably a higher B tier because he's pretty nice. Same for Sasuke, a higher B tier, but I do not really think that these characters will be able to beat the higher maps. Trunks, believe it or not, I actually calculated is better than Eskino because you can actually calculate the efficiency of unit by doing uh, literally just you can calculate by doing damage into range 
divided by SPA into cost and trunks even though Eskinor is gaining damage his damage that he gains is only like 36 and there's 15 waves but trunks cost like 2000 lesser he's gonna have one lesser SPA and five more range so everything that uh, of that actually adds up against the higher damage that Eskinor has making trunks surprisingly better than Eskinor uh, five star Goku probably would be able to like beat further than the MHA map so he's okay Meta Knight is pretty useless guys because he's too expensive if you're doing a challenge you could probably use him but like why would you do that uh, Tanjiro probably gonna be like bottom B I'm pretty sure he can go further than MHA maps uh, Toga probably definitely gonna be a B tier but like not that high up in B tier uh, then we have the Warhammer Titan who's like really cheap but has a pretty bad range so I'll put him B tier Whis is pretty useless even though he's cheap he's just useless on story mode like why do you even want to have him uh, 6 star uh, white beard is like really expensive guys which is why I'll put him probably in B tier because I mean if you really try you could probably manage to use him but yeah 6 star white beard is gonna be in B and this one is also going to be like even lower B uh, Yoshiki Kuro is useless, he's a single target and he can't really even beat the first map because his range is too less. Yuno is pretty okay, B tier. Zenitsu probably low B tier and Black Zetsu is gonna be another somewhere on B tier. But yeah, that's the tier list, so thank you guys for watching. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!